Patrick is never giving up. What's up, Nero Nation? It's your boy, Nero, back at it with some more Black Clover news. I know y'all shocked. We ain't get a chapter this week, but I'm still delivering the news. It happens. It happens. I'm going to look out for you guys. Make sure you thumb up the video. Let's get into the news, man. First thing on the list, Black Clover Volume 34 just dropped on March 3rd, and we have the first three-day sales for it. And Black Clover in three days have sold 49,442 copies. I myself think that's amazing. A lot of people online is like, no, it's not looking too good. Oh no, Black Club, oh no. I don't know why they're saying that. I don't know. I think this for three days is pretty dope. But at the same time, Weekly Shonen Jump does the one thing, and I said it in the past uh, videos where I talked about the sales for Black Clover. They do this thing where they drop all of their volumes for all their different series at one time. I, I just don't think that's a smart move. And I'm going to keep talking about it until they watch this video and be like, perhaps we're not doing things right. Perhaps we should change it. Yeah, Please, please do that, man. Oh, my gosh. Like, you drop Black Clover. You drop uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. You drop One Piece as well as your other series all in the same day. Like, you know, Kaiju number eight as well. I know it's not Shonen Jump, but it's still part of the Shonen magazine. Like, all in the same... Who's the genius behind this? Who is the genius? I, I just don't understand it. I can't picture someone sitting there like, you know, we've got to make as much money as we can off these people. Why don't we drop everything the same day? As opposed to saying like, yo, this week is Black Clover, this week is uh, One Piece, this week is Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaiju number eight, uh, what was that, Roboku, uh, uh, and all the other series they got. I can't think of all the names right now, but like that would be very beneficial. I guarantee you, if they were to try that method, all not just not just Black Clover, but I feel like the sales in all of their series would go up. That's just my thoughts, man. You guys can let me know if you agree with me. I know some of y'all already do, but I just don't think that's a, a smart move. Like, come on, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, latest volume. So uh, in the past three days, it sold five hundred thousand copies, half a million. I mean, come on. Then uh, One Piece, three days, uh, uh, one million copies. That's ridiculous in itself, though. But yeah, it sold a million copies in three days. So you got Black Clover co competing with these two series. And you got to think like, yo, what if someone just had enough money to buy one manga and they like those other two series more than Black Clover? Not saying it's better than Black Clover, but that might be the one they prefer more. You know, and they decide to spend their, their, their last 10 bucks on that as opposed to getting Black Clover. Like, Think, man. Think. You guys could be making so much more money. I'm trying to help y'all. Help me help you. Come on, man. I, I don't know. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. I'm just getting upset just thinking about it. But yes, as of right now, in the past uh, three days, Black Clover has sold 49,000 copies. Honestly, I think uh, by next week when we get the 10-day sales, it will definitely be higher than Volume 33. That's just my opinion. We're going to have to wait and see. But I, def I definitely think uh, Black Clover is going to do a lot better with this volume that it did in the past volume. Not to say Volume 33 did bad, but I just think this volume is going to do way better because the cover is a lot more... I don't know. It's just, it catches the eyes better than the previous uh, cover. A lot of people were upset with the previous cover. Well, you got some people mad with this one as well, but it's just going to have to wait and see how the sales go. I definitely will be keeping you posted on it, so make sure you got your notifications turned on for the next Black Clover News video, which will probably be next Saturday. Um, if not if not a video, you know what I'm saying, you know, a little short, one or the other. But next thing on the list is a picture by Fan Dumpling. They usually do art and I use it in some of my uh, chapter reviews. And this picture, they, uh, this particular picture they drew just looks so amazing that I feel like it can be the next volume cover. It could be volume 35 cover. Now I'm gonna put it on the screen. I want you guys to let me know what y'all think about this volume cover. To me, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. The only thing I may do different is I would probably add more of the reuse into it where they're on the side. But like far as just this picture as a whole would be an amazing volume cover. And it would just, I, I feel like it'll sell like hotcakes. You got Yoshuga up here with Ryu, you know what I'm saying? Both of them in their current, like current state. And then you got both of them as, you know, teenagers growing up clashing against one another. I would love to see this as a volume cover. Let me know y'all thoughts on it, man. Fan Dumpling, you did your thing. You did, hey. You're a problem. <laughs> You're a problem, man. Shout out to you. Next thing on the list is happy 36th birthday to Yuki Kana. She is the voice actress of Noelle as well as Aesir, which is Noelle's mother. 
and she plays other characters as well but her birthday is march 10th which is today the recording of this video but you guys will probably be seeing this video tomorrow on the 11th while i'm at work so like while you guys chilling watching a video i'm at work like this can i go now <laughs> that's how it's gonna be so make sure you thumb it up because i'm making sacrifices man i could be asleep right now but <laughs> yo it's her birthday happy birthday to her she got some other roles she play as well nothing i'm too familiar with but other than oh no nah, it's a couple characters i know but noelle is the one that i like the most so shout out to yuki kana hope hopefully you have an amazing birthday today um actually it's probably already over since you're in japan it's probably the 11th right now there in fact i'm pretty sure it's the 11th but yo happy birthday to you and moving on next thing on the list is another amazing picture man yo this picture oh my gosh it's nero my girl nero you know what i'm saying my name ain't based off of her but yeah i'm nero too but is Nero and all white. Her hair is white as well as her dress being white. And I actually like this look so much. The only reason I'm glad they Tabata didn't choose to go this route with Nero's design is because I feel like too many people would have said she looked at, she looked like Rukia and her Bankai form, you know, for from Bleach. But I really love this design. Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this design. Um it's on the screen hopefully you guys like it shout out to the artist your name is written so small i can't read it right now but i definitely will put it on the screen so everyone else can see it you know what i'm saying the screen is a little small right now you know what i'm gonna zoom in real quick I'm gonna, let me zoom in it looked like it says dragnaut it probably says dragnaut i i might have to blow it up some more but right now the picture is a little small but yo it looks amazing. You did your damn thing on that one. Like, yo, Nero with the white hair. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know in the comment section below. Next up on the list, Black Clover anime went from a 6.51 in February 2018 to 8.14 in March of 2023 in the anime list. Like, yo, the rating has just went up. It shows that even though the anime is done, the rating is still going up. People are still enjoying Black Clover anime and people want more. I want more. I need the anime to return. Like I said, I think it's going. we're going to get some type of announcement at the end of this year and we might get the anime back sometime next year. But yes, to see how much the anime rating has grown on my anime list from 2018 to 2023 it's just it's great 8.14 that's amazing especially for a series that's not even airing right now like yo it's done airing it's not you can't even watch it unless you go by some crazy means in the states anyway in the states you know somewhere else you probably could watch it with ease but you no know, oh crunchyroll matter of fact you can watch it on crunchyroll but like as far as watching it on hulu or, or um you know what I'm saying? Cartoon Network. It ain't happening, bro. But yo, to see that the rating went up that much, shout out to Black Clover. I'm crazy to see what the rating will go up to once the anime returns. You know it's going to come back. You know it's coming back. But next thing on the list is Black Clover, Black Clover mobile game for Japan and Korea is set to release in April. And that's amazing. So we don't have any release date for here. I know they're doing another beta test right now. But when I tried to download it, it said it's not in my region. So I'm guessing it's just it was just for Japan and Korea as well. But that game actually dropped for them in April, which is next month. Shout out to them guys. They're going to be playing it while we're going to be sitting there like, I heard it was good. Me too. <laughs> like, yo, dang, I, wanna, I can't wait for it to drop here in the States. But yeah, they got a couple images. I'm going to put it up on the screen so everybody can see it. But they got a couple in images of the Black Bull base. And it looks pretty dope. Charming over here cooking. You got Vanessa in her bikini laying down on the chair with the alcohol next to her. I'm surprised they got that in the mobile game. You got Asta running around while Luck and Magna about to fight. These uh, these screenshots look pretty dope, man. I can't wait to play this game, man. Freely, whenever I want. Dang, no, no beta, none of that. Uh, next thing on the list, Black Clover uh, Blu-ray released uh, episode 133 and episode 136 with changes where Leopold and Noel are no longer using ruins. They actually changed that and fixed the mistake. If you remember the anime, they actually used ruins and a lot of people were upset as well as Yuki, Tab Yuki Tabata. That's one of the times where he actually just went off like, hey, yo, man, what y'all doing to my shit? You know, that's what Yuki Tabata did, but they actually fixed it in these, um, in the Blu-ray where when you buy it, they're not doing ruin magic. 
Um, I actually got screenshots here where it looked like they're just doing regular magic and they actually changed it to a way where it doesn't feel like it messed up the episode at all. You guys can look at these screenshots uh, for yourselves and let me know your thoughts, but that's pretty dope. 133 for Leo, 136 for Noel, because it was an error that they made while making the anime for those who didn't catch on to it. But everyone, everyone who's a Black Clover fan caught on to it day one like, Something ain't right. <laughs> Something ain't right. We all caught on to them. So that's pretty dope that they actually took the time out to fix that. But that's the last thing we got for uh, Black Clover News this week. Hopefully you guys liked it. What did you like the most? Let me know. Was it the fact that they made changes to the Blu-ray for the anime? Was it uh, the pictures that I showed you from Fan Dumpling as well as the picture of Nero? Was it um was it knowing that the game released in Japan? I, I doubt anybody like yo that's my favorite even though i'm not in japan <laughs> you know i doubt anyone says that's their favorite uh what about the uh, actual anime list with the rating going up as well as finding out the sales for the for latest volume of black clover let me know which one stood out to you the most down below and if you like this video make sure you thumb it up subscribe hit the bell for all notifications hoping you have a great day and night wherever you are this is your boy nero mega man signing out peace